Tim is someone that came to Dixon um, with a vision, and this man is incredible. Uh, very passionate, very driven. I've been responsible pretty much for project managing our move from our old building to this new nice facility that we have here. Uh, meeting with the co contractors, having the building wired, uh, anything electronic basically, and just pitching in wherever Donna and Lily needed it. I was given the task of going through all the artifacts, consolidating them, making some sense out of them, and uh, coming up with a plan for the museum. Moving into the new facility, planning, uh, the logistics, you know, all the details, um, so much work that, that goes into that itself. Moving in was quite the challenge. Uh, we did not have enough movers and it was a very hot day and everyone had a pitch in to help get it done. We're speaking of a 200 year old company, there's just so many things, so many things that needed to be moved, to be, needed to be cared for. It was a big task, but we all came together as a family and we did it. We, we made this happen within two days. My main goal and my main challenge was moving all of our systems and having them up and running the next day um, because we were still trying to ship items to our customers and, and run a business. That was the biggest challenge by far. The business had to um, continue. We still had to meet the month, make our numbers. We all took pride in what we were doing. We had fine art that had to be moved. We did that ourselves by hand. We were so surprised when we went to the storage facility and found the painting literally up against a cabinet slanted to the side. It was a, a moment of sadness a little bit because there was just so much history so many things that, that were in there that we wanted to get out as soon as possible and take care of. I mean, this is our company, this is our culture. Tim was actually the person that saw, especially what we had in house, what was in storage. This is American history. And that's where he came up with the idea, hey, let's put this museum together. Why not show our history to the world? He told me, I have a project for you and you are going to love it. It's been thrilling to take his vision and turn it into a real museum that now will be open to the public. I hear it all the time that they know we make a pencil but they don't know the whole story. And when they come in and see the whole story, just to kind of see that fate, the face light up, and wow, didn't realize this, the Model T, didn't realize our crayons went to space, you know, all these little details that we hope that they're gonna learn about us when they come in. The next couple of days, we have some amazing things planned for, and activities planned for all the people arriving. And um, having them have this experience of our museum, um, looking at a preview of the museum, and also, uh, we have a plan taking them to Sweet Night, to Orlando Magic Gang. On Saturday, we are taking our guests to the Riverboat Cruise, and um, we'll be on there having some uh, food and drinks. It's a very proud moment for all three of us to be at this point that we're at now. I would like to welcome everybody to the official grand opening of the Dixon Ticonderoga National Museum and Art Gallery. I think just him putting it all together and being the presenter and showing everyone this is what my vision was, this is what our vision was, and we finalized it. And now we can present it to the world. One, two, three. Yay! Yay! The finite moment, this is it. We are opening it, it's official, so everybody needs to come and see us.